Hello guys, this is Kudo and welcome back to the third part of this video about adding a multi-language in your game using a JSON file. So in this tutorial, we will basically doing the main code about uh, the JSON. By main, I mean uh, loading the text file, apply the text file on the, um, on the text mesh pro. And at the end, how we can switch uh, in runtime languages. So maybe this video will be in two parts again because we got a lot of code. But don't worry, I will explain it everything to you and let's get into it. So first thing, uh, we need to go to the script, uh, to open uh, the script we already create called localization manager. All right, so as soon as you open your script, you can remove the update function because we don't need it. Uh, we'll use the start function and we will add some other system. So, so other using. So let's add a first using system. Okay, let's add uh, using uh, system.io. It will allow me to input and output some file because we need it for the JSON. So let me put this up straight because it's more elegant. Uh, what we need to add um, is uh, using uh, Unity Engine dot networking for um, access to your JSON from the URL, and that will be it. Uh, second thing we want to add is to create some variable. So don't worry, I will explain it, uh, why we need so much variables. So first thing, I will create a header because uh, I, I will use a lot of variable and I want to be my code to be clean. So this header, I will call it important, important string. It will regroup all the string, uh, all the string we will use. So first string will be a const string, so private uh, const uh, uh, string, and it will be the file extension. Extension. Why we want to put it on the const uh, a constants? Because this should this should file extension shouldn't shouldn't not be uh, um, changed. Uh, because it should be uh, something, uh, even if you change some script or anything, it should be like this and no other way. So file extension will be equal to dot JSON because it will be my extension file. So yeah, I forget something first. Uh, again, a private, uh, again, constant string, so const string. And this uh, string, and this will be my file uh, file name prefix. So what I mean by prefix, remember in the other video, I told you to put a prefix on your um, on your JSON file. So my prefix will be equal to text underscore. So um, again, this. Uh, uh, text uh, you can change it whatever you want but make sure in the resource file here uh, if we want to load from the resource file uh, here make sure to name your 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 file text but with the other way by loading with URL it don't it doesn't really matter but still be aware to if you just want to load from resources, um, make sure your JSON file uh, has the same uh, string uh, than the your um, your file name prefix uh, defined in the localization manager. All right. So after that, I will need some other private string. So private string. This should URL. So why I put everything in capital letter? Because this is a very uh, important 
uh, string and I like to um, to use this uh, way to code but it's basically up to you 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 can you can change it whatever you want but it's just for me uh, because uh, this thing I will declare right now it shouldn't it should not should not be changed so again another private uh, string uh, so this one it will be my full name uh, text file text uh, file okay uh, and I could put this uh, up st upper here because it makes sense after the URL I will again create another private string um, full pass text file so this will be referring to the pass where my my text my JSON file should be so text file okay and the last one again a private string a private string and this one should be language choose and by default I will put en so we can save this so after that what we need to create is uh, another variable so let's create a boolean so bool uh, it will be is ready so is ready so basically uh, it will allow me to know when uh, the, fi the JSON file is already charging so is ready it will be by default equal to false so after I need to create uh, uh, a dictionary so let's make it private dictionary uh, dictionary and this dictionary will be composed by two string the string and string and let's call this one uh, localized dictionary dictionary and I think it's one R yeah I guess it's one R okay so basically this dic dictionary will allow me to retrieve all the localization data we will use a dictionary for the key and the value all right uh, what we need oh yeah i forget to one string important here so let's create another private string uh, and this private string should call uh, so load uh, loaded so loaded uh, json text so basically this will retrieve all the JSON in a string. So when we will charge the JSON, this will contain all my JSON uh, file. Okay, so I don't need to be that uh, far away from the other variable. So after the dictionary, what I need to create, uh, it's a private, again, localization data. So localization data will be equal to uh, low underscore sorry low did uh, data. So this will allow me to to when I will uh, when I will uh, load my JSON, I can I can attribute it some of the value. Uh, on the key and the value here but don't worry uh, I will explain it when it will come and after that I need another boolean so let's uh, boolean let's call uh, underscore uh, is file found uh, so it will be equal to false so um, it's, this boolean will, be, it will help me to check if the file is found I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, let's make it private and let's make this one private too. All right. And uh, the last one, it's another Boolean, so let's make it private. 
uh, and this one will be used much later on this tutorial but let's declare it and uh, what I want to do is is try change lang runtime so this one equal to false so this one uh, is will help me to know if the user trying to change the language during the runtime of the game okay so um, right now i just um, declare all of this um, variable so let's create uh, an instance of uh, the local manager so um, again if you don't know what is an instance uh, you can refer to my other video i explained it uh, very well so um, let's put a region instance function and let me advance this because you already know what I will do. Okay, so I made some adjustment by putting header, but it doesn't matter. You can you can add it or you can remove it. It's just me because it's more elegant and I can refer and the code is more uh, readable for me or maybe for the other user. So um, right now, uh, what we need to do, okay, so I need to uh, recreate the start function. So um, instead of using void, uh, I will use e enumerator, so a coroutine, and I need to remove this. And right now, what we want to do is just so language choose will be equal, and now we use uh, the local helper. So, what we want to do is local helper, so local helper dot get supported uh, language code again. Uh, if I go on the um, on the script, this will return uh, which language my system is using. Okay, so um, second thing I want to do on the start function, I will attribute my full name text. So full uh, name text file will be equal to a file name. So file name prefix plus language choose so language choose and do not forget to use to lower and this will allow me to lower the case of language choose because uh, because remember in your txt file you you name the um, the txt file so it's here with fr and en lower um be uh, uh, be sure uh, to write everything good because again the case is sensitive all right to lower and we do not forget to add a file extension so extension okay and now the thing is starting so right now i will just focus on the time we using uh, I suppose you're using this JSON file on the standalone version or PC or anything. So right now, what I want to do is a uh, full pass, mm, uh, full pass, uh, full pass text file. So full pass text file uh, will be equal to pass combine. So this is very nice. So pass dot combine, and you just need to add where do we want to have our file so for the standalone version or pc mac linux or any any kind of computer we want to use application so application uh, application dot streaming asset pass and what we want to look is the uh, full name text file 
so basically uh, pass combine as i say combine two strings into the pass so this will automatically automatically look for the application streaming asset uh, the application streaming asset on the unity folder so this one and in this um, in this pass it will add uh, the name of uh, sorry it's not pass but uh, full name text file and it will add uh, a full name text file so just to make sure so let's put this void just to make you an example or uh, that uh, um, does uh, what he does let's put a debug uh, debug dot log of full pass text file okay and let's save this okay let's go back to unity so let's drag and drop our script or make it or let's create uh, an empty game object reset everything oops sorry reset I say reset. Where is reset? Uh, oh, it's here. Reset. Sorry. Uh, let's call it uh, uh, localization manager. Manager. Okay. And let's add uh, localization manager. Let's save this. And in the console, you should see the path. Uh, what I'm what I'm talking about. So let's hit play. And as you can see, this uh, uh, retrieve my my full pass of where the JSON file should be. So as you can see, mine should be different that, that, than yours because I don't think you use the same name uh, same name as me. But application .data pass will retrieve all the uh, all the pass until streaming asset, and you can add. As I, as I did the name of your JSON file. Okay, so to finish this part of this tutorial, what I want to do is, uh, so we can remove the debug. What I want to do is to re-put uh, e-enumerator here. Okay, and uh, what we want to do after the pass is designed and we we find it we just want to create so uh, we want to create another function and this other, other function so enumerator again it will be a coroutine and this function should name load json language data so language data and basically as the name speak to him this should, uh, oops, this should uh, load the JSON data. So right now I just want to put yield, uh, yield return null because it will uh, error me. Okay, and here what I want to do is just to put a yield uh, return and what we want to return in the start function. So we want to start coroutine load json language data so load json language data and as soon as this uh, language data is finished to loaded we can put our is ready so underscore is ready boolean to true to make sure our json is loaded so in the next part of this tutorial, I will show you the main loaded JSON language. Thanks for watching. So if content equal equal to like or user learn something equal to true, user should thumb up plus subscribe. Else user should dislike, but help me to improve. Thank you and I catch you guys next time.